Good evening, YouTubers. The new time travel hymen 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. Well, tonight I am going to review Doctor Who Regeneration. Yes. Doctor Who Regeneration DVD. Yep. I finally got the most regeneration, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stories, Doctor Who regeneration moment. And yes, I finally, I love this. Uh, the reason why I used the set, but in the UK, the regeneration set was not, never been released in the UK, so I used these DVDs to represent that was came out in the UK. Anyway, before I start this review, I would like to give a quick shout out to Andre Grindel. Andre Grindel, your videos are super awesome. Keep up the good work, my friend, and make sure to check out his channel on YouTube. Okay, on to this week's review, so let's get this to the side, and let's start off with the 10th planet yes the 10th planet very well done good episode it's a classic it is the final adventure to appear William Hartnell as the doctor even though I saw this on daily motion it's a breathtaking episode this four part story originally transmitted on October 28th to the 29th, 1966. It marks also the first appearances of the Cybermen. The first early version of this. And the uncredited appearances of Patrick Troughton. I love this U.S. cover. Here's the picture of the, the Doctor inside the TARDIS. Here's the Cybermen. And there's um, Planet Moondas. The William Hartnell years, 1963 to 1966, is a two-disc set. Good episode. Episode 4 was missing from the BBC archive. So, it is being animated by Planet 55 Studios. And also got some nice features, including William Hartnell's interview that was recovered, plus Doctor Who stories and more. Next up is Patrick Troughton's final adventure, The War Games. Yes, this is a very good episode and one of my favorite Troughton stories ever. And sadly to see Pat, the second doctor, Jamie and Zoe go. That's when the Time Lords erase their memories. And as for the sudden punishment for the doctor, he is forced to regenerate. This 10 part adventure originally broadcast on April 19th to June 21st, 1969. Nice little features, still pictures. Now here's disc one, parts one to five. Disc two, parts six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bonus feature on disc three. Disc, yep. Yep, that's the war games. Moving on to the next regeneration story from John Pertwee. Planet of the Spiders. Yes, Planet of the Spiders, a good episode, is one of the best Pertwee stories ever of season 11. And I love this cover. And here's the third Doctor with the blue jewel. Here is um, Sarah Jane Smith with the spider possessed. And that's the Spider Queen. And that's 
Metabilius III. The John Pertwee years, 1970 to 1974, also a two-DVD set. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. The six-part story originally broadcast on May 4th to June 8th, 1974. Pertwee's Last Adventure. DVD 1, and here's DVD 2, right there. On to the next story, the Tom Baker, his final adventure, Logopolis. Wow. Logopolis is a very good story. It's not a bad story. I disagree the other users saying, but... Logopolis, one of the remain the classic Tom Baker stories ever. And one of my favorite scenes saying is the end, but the moment began to prepare for. This four part story originally transmitted on February 28th to March 21st, 1981. And this story marks the first appearances of Janet Fielding as. Tegan Jovanka. It, and Sarah Sutton reprised the role of Nissa in the story. And Anthony Ainsley that was appeared at the end of the Keeper of Trocken. You should buy this episode. Good episode. I highly recommend it. Next adventure is Peter Davis's last story. The Case of Angizani. Special Edition. Yes, the case of Andrizani, this is one of the favorite voted by sci-fi fans. This is the episode I saw it when I was five years old back in 1993. I remember this good episode. Anyway, it's a two-disc set. The four-part adventure originally transmitted on March 8th, 9th, 15th, and 16th, 1984. And it marks the first appearances of Colin Baker as the second Doctor. I mean, the sixth Doctor. Sorry. Colin Baker, the sixth Doctor. Here's disc one. And disc two. I did not get a chance to get the original release, but I'm glad I got this release. All right. Next story, Time and Arani. Yup, this is a very good Sylvester McCoy story, and I really love this episode. And marks the return of evil Ronnie. Mm -hmm. This four-part story, The Time and Arani, originally broadcast on September 7th to the 28th, 1987. Here's the feature. And here's the disc for... Yes, the disc for Time and Irani. Next story. Doctor Who. The movie, special edition. This is a very good story. And I really love it. And... See the regeneration of the seventh doctor to the eighth doctor. Awesome adventure. This story originally broadcast on May 14th, 1996. It's a two disc set. Let's take a look. Here's disc one and disc two. This. Next up is from Selected First Season Bat Wolf and Parting of the Waves. Let's take a look. That's on the fourth disc of Series One. Yep. Good episode. I really love this episode. Marks the final time for Christopher Eccleston. He left after one season. 
due to production problems. Yep. Next up and finally is The End of Time Parts 1 and 2. Brilliant story. And I love this episode. It's David Tennant's Swan Song. Yep. I love this episode. And one of my favorite is the master, John Sims. He leads all anything. He's hungry. Yep. It's the spine and the back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's disc one and disc two. Okay. Let's let me line them up so you can guys see. Okay, let's okay, let's line them up. All right. Okay, that's it for my Doctor Who regeneration set. All right, if you guys like to rate, comment and subscribe, please do so and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care.